Bernie Hinchcliffe. <laughs> Here we are. How you guys doing? Oh, yeah. You feel that energy in here? That's episode 26 of Kill Tony. We've made it a half a year, Brian. That's insane. Six months of this. A quarter of this. Yes, a quarter of that. Um, fuck yeah. Everybody's here. Everything's in position. Good to see you guys. Happy Monday to you. Uh, very exciting to be here, as always. Uh, you guys ready for a fun show? been a fun uh, fun weekend anything crazy happened this weekend I, I this was the I just got over the busiest week ever I drove to San Francisco which is not a bad drive at all but uh, there's that part where there's just millions of cows where you see where all the meat comes from and it just smells like shit and yeah. you want to roll down the window but that's a bad idea you want to turn on the air conditioning or it's just it's awful like it's almost puke worthy for like a good 15 minutes of that highway yeah it's a weird drive and it, but there's one of the best steak places. Like, I had to get out of the car. I was just like, I, I got to get out of here. So there was this really weird restaurant on the side of the road, and it was really nice. It was this awesome steak place where they just, like, pretty much take the cows and kill them, and you just feed them to you. It's, like, awesome. That's great. That's exciting. It's really good. How fun. Yeah. Uh, what did I do? I did, I had, I had, did spots here. Saturday... Friday, we did uh, Thunder Pussy, the oh, third yeah. episode Thunder of Pussy. Thunder Pussy. That, that shit is so great. I wish this audience could see Thunder Pussy. It's one of the coolest new uh, yeah, it's podcasts. Yeah, it's the newest Death Squad show on the network, and uh, it uh, it's Jeremiah Watkins' improvised stand-up show built for a podcast. So it's very exciting to see comedians make material out of nothing in thin air. Fuck yeah. Put your hands together for my friend The Robe, everybody. He's here live in the flesh. One of my great friends. Uh, and uh, let's also introduce the one and only. Well, you know him. You love him. He's our head of security. It's the Iron Patriot, everybody. <laughs> Fuck yes. yeah. Yes. I had a busy week, Tony. <laughs> oh, tell us about it. Yep. I was one day on Cougar Town, three days on Parks and Recreation. Right, you did extra work on these shows, is what you're saying. Yes, yes. I was also spending time putting together my screenshots of all my background appearances. Uh -huh. And I found a very significant one. I found the first show that I was on. This was Boston Legal. The, the episode was called Juiced. It came out December 1st, 2008. Now, Tony, I want you to try to guess who the actress was in this scene, and I'm going to give you a clue. The Guinness Book of World Records in 2013 just gave this lady the record for the longest running career in television. Now, can you guess who that is? What show was it on? Boston Legal came out in 2008. She was just Betty having... White. Yeah, it's got to be Betty White. Very good, Tom. Very good. Yeah. She's 91 years she, old. She's yeah. been in the business 74 years. Yeah. It was a very fitting scene for me to make my debut in. Right. Because why? Because I walked across. I was looking very beautiful walking across. You know how I do my background performances. I'm, I'm, I'm always lurking. I'm always patriotic. When okay. the camera's not on, does Betty White shake and fall to the floor? And like, like, is it like really sad and depressing? Like, there's somebody standing behind her, holding her up the whole time, or no? No, she's she's full of life. Yeah. I mean, that was that was five years ago, but um, she still looks like she's doing good. She's on that show Hot in Cleveland, and um, she looks like she's gonna have some more years left. You just jinxed her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Red Band, I want to say something to you. I was listening today, you on Allison Rosen. I was listening to you on a podcast, and I learned something I didn't know about you, that you masturbate with Monistat 7. <laughs> yes, I do. Very interesting. Okay. Is this real? Yes. Why do you do that? Because it uh, helps with male yeast infections. It keeps the vagina clean. And it feels a little bit better than regular lotion because it's a little bit thicker. Yeah. Keeps the vagina clean. I mean, if you use regular lotion, it does nothing to help you with sex or anything. It does nothing. It know? moisturizes the penis. Yeah. You can so have a nice glow with a good lotion. Or whatever. Your shit's already sweaty. It already is pretty moisturized during the day. That's how, like, fungus and stuff grows on there, so you should get Monstat 7. Patriot, I heard that you sent in a song this week. Yes, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. This song is called I Gotta Have You. 
Okay, uh, for those of you that don't know, Patriot was in a failed rock and roll band uh, in the 90s in his hometown of Dallas, Texas. The band never took off, but every once in a while he still sends in a song that he sings over in his robot voice, which is only slightly different than his actual voice. The songs always seem a lot longer than they actually are. They're never re very well written. Uh, the chorus always comes in over and over again too soon. So about a minute and a half of music always feels like about three minutes. Yep. Uh, so here, what's the name of this one? I Gotta Have You. This is I Gotta Have You by Dirty Crabbers, Jeff Crabtree, a.k.a. the Iron Patriot, a.k.a. the yep. At Make Comic sure you Patriot. Yeah, give me some volume so I can stay on, on key. Right, so that you can sing over your own voice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's okay. I'm not lip singing. I'm not Melly Vanilli. You know, I'm doing it. Hold, hold on. I'm having a little technical difficulty. Uh, the iPad was like, oh, no, you did. And I was like, yes, I did. And I'm trying to press play. Uh, Even the iPad doesn't want us to do this right now. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Maybe. Yeah, turn it up a little bit. Get, get it going. Get it going. Get it going. Okay. <laughs> everybody, everybody feel it with me. Put your hands together for the Iron Patriot, yes, everybody. Come on. I feel a lot of love in this room. As we ease into episode 26 of Kill Tony. Got it. audience member, uh, Lainey, if you had to guess, how long do you think that song just was? If you had to guess, just throw out any number. Yeah, if you had to guess the time on that. All right, forget it, Lainey. You just blew the whole thing. <laughs> it was a very easy setup, Lainey. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I actually <laughs> like that one. That was, that was like an angrier uh, version of the... Uh, of your band yeah, or no, of your no, music. Let me, let me tell you a little bit about that song. Uh, that song got more airplay than any Dirty Crabber song because it came out in 1991 and a famous DJ in Dallas named George Gamark put it on a compilation CD with 19 other bands. So it got a little airplay. That was the only way you can get on the radio back then. So that was pretty exciting. That song is very significant in the Dirty Crabber history. Well, I liked it. I, I thought it was darker. It sounded more, yeah. a little bit like if you were going through your pretty hate machine days of yeah. uh, the B-52s. Yeah, yeah, it's talking about the finest little hussy in the whole damn place. I want her. I got to have her. Yeah. It seemed very violent, sex, like, rapey. Yeah. That's what I do when I enter the room. I, I look for the finest hussy, and I say that she's mine. What the fuck are you talking about right now? <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. When did you write that? That was back in 1991. What was your life like back then? Like what kind? What kind? What, kind, what was happening back Those then? Those were my glory years. Like what? So tell us about your glory years. What was what was it? What was the typical day like for Jeff Crabtree back in Dallas, Texas, in 91? Uh, uh, you know, I was sleeping on the couch sometimes. Um, sleeping on the couch sometimes? No. Sleeping Is that what you? On the couch, um, with the wait, 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 wait. What was it? Slow it down, man. Just take your time. Can you breathe in that thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
I zooming on. Oh, shit, this still hold on. Still, just breathe. <laughs> okay, okay, relax. Yeah. When you say, when you say zooming on the pouch. Soothing. Soothing. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, you know, uh, putting the banana in the pouch, uh, uh, playing, playing with a little bit of soothing on it. You know, stoking it a little bit. You know, uh, I was working hard back then, too. I was practicing. It took a lot of time to write those songs. We were going to the studio. We were doing gigs, you know. You know, meeting people at the shows and stuff. And um, I was a little, I was a rock star in Dallas. It was exciting. You know, all the things rock stars do, you know. A little bit of drug experimentation, soothing on the pouch, like I said. Wait, S masturbating or with a girl? No, with a girl. With a girl. I, so I, you're I, snarfing puss. So you're soothing on a pouch is what you're saying. Yeah, I say, yeah, yeah, just... That's your way of saying you were getting laid back then. Yeah, 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 you know, all, do you ever, the, do all you ever, things you do with a pouch, yeah, all the, you know. Do you ever think that a lot of the reason why you haven't been laid since 9-11 or whatever it was is that you say things like soothing on the pouch? No, my relation status is complicated. I'm coming back now, I'm, I'm getting my career back on route, I'm going to find the soulmate, I'm going to find the perfect lady. The perfect lady might be in this crowd right now. Got really quiet after that. Uh, a lot of ladies just ducked underneath their tables. Yeah, um, yeah. I, see, I see a bright future for me, Tony. Yeah. The only thing... All right. Um, fuck yeah. Well, you know what's exciting is that uh, we have over 30 comedians that signed up tonight. Um, and uh, as always, I always have two very funny guests, very funny friends of mine. Uh, that come on this show and sit with us while we listen to comedians do one minute each. Uh, and tonight is no different. I have two very, very funny guests. Uh, <clears throat> and in no particular order, we just go for it. Uh, we could go for it. Maybe one won't show up right now. One's yes, one might be just delayed a few minutes because show business is crazy. Um, all right, so with no further ado, put your hands together for the first person I'll bring up, uh, one of my favorite comedians, a true comedy store favorite, handpicked by Mitzi Shore, super paid regular at the comedy store. He travels the country. He's a chef. He's a comedian, one of my funniest pals. Put your hands together for the one and only Mike Favorman is in the house. And you know her from Chelsea lately. You love her from Chelsea. She's not ready yet. Wow, that's great. Thank you. Fuck yeah. Zoom. Mike Favorman is here, everybody. Check, check. check. How you doing, Mike? Hey, Poof. guys. Is, is there a mute button on this thing, by the way? <laughs> on the Patriot? Come on, guys. <laughs> you know you love it. You know that you love no, it, No, I know I don't. Okay. <laughs> Mike, Mike, I was doing some reading on you today. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I see that you do many things. You direct, you produce, you act. Okay. Now, uh, you got an outdoor cooking show that looks very interesting. I watched a little bit about it. Uh -huh. Now, what I wanted to ask you, you know, you heard that Tony's a vegan. Uh, what would you cook for something like him? Because, you know, you think outdoor, you think barbecue. What would you make for him? <laughs> um, I, would, uh, I would force him to eat meat. That's what I'd do. Oh, make. come on. What would you make me? I'd make you a grilled veggie platter with a big, fat puss in the middle. <laughs> oh, he would hate that. He's vegan. I don't know if that's part you, of the you vegan don't, lifestyle. You don't eat puss? No, no, he likes that's a calm bad. I'll never sorbet. Be a vegan. Brian... <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> it's hot as fuck in here. Yeah, it is. Heck yeah. It's hot and cold at the same time. Yeah, Tony, I wanted to say something. Um, I'm basically a vegetarian, and I see the difference between me and you is I drink milk and eat eggs. Yeah. Now, I saw, I read something that you need a B12 and an amino, amino an acid... Amino acid yeah, that's supplement. why I don't take medical advice from people like you. But is that um, true that you need a B12 and amino acid supplement? That's if I wasn't getting enough of that in my natural diet, but I am. There's ways to get Without milk and eggs, you can still get it. I have so much B12 in my diet that my pee is, like, golden. It's beautiful. Okay. It's like It looks like fucking 24 carats. <laughs> Does it matter if the guy shaves or if it's just, you know, full bush? Oh, Bush. I'm just going to let you think about what you just said. <laughs> Patriot, uh, what did you... Uh, oh, yeah, you already asked that question, what you read about Mike Faberman. Yeah. 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 Patriot, what do you like to eat? Um, I eat a lot of veggie burgers. Um, I eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every single day with a glass of milk. 
Raisin bran in the morning, green beans with the, with the veggie sandwich, also with chips. I crunch up the chips and the rice. Okay, wait, one more time, nice and slow. Let's go over it again. What was it again? Raisin bran in the morning, lunchtime, veggie burger and green beans. Peanut butter and jelly at dinner time. And then later on that night, maybe some peanut m and another bowl of raisin bran, another veggie burger, rice, bowl of rice with the chips crunched it up inside. What kind of chips? Um, like those mission chips, you know, you get at the uh, Ralph. You put tortilla chips in your rice? <laughs> just, just chips, just like, you know, the, with the salt on the chips, you know. Yeah, 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 tortilla chips. Yeah, 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 they're mission, mission chips. Yeah, mi- it's tortilla chips. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're putting those, you're breaking those up and putting yeah, them like in a bowl. Yeah, I like to crunch those up on the rice. It gives the rice some good texture. Uh, I like to enjoy that. I'll usually watch a movie on Netflix while I'm doing it. And I like to watch Sons of Anarchy while I'm, while I'm, while I'm eating it. That's so sad. Why do you have your? Why do you keep putting your hand out like that? Like you're running for president uh, while uh, talking. Uh, I, I work in mysterious ways, Tony. <laughs> the way he says Tony, I, it's just like my worst nightmare. That I'm gonna yeah. wake up one day and he's gonna be leaning over me. <laughs> Good morning, Tony. <laughs> you're my little Tony Maroney. Oh my, oh my God. God. Unbelievable. He wants you. <laughs> what? A, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I didn't know what you were talking about. That song was so forgettable that uh, oh. I already I, forgot. I personally love his music. If you don't like my music, I'll go somewhere else and do my dirty cover songs, Tony. Oh, <laughs> oh my the God. Fuck? Is that Tony? Nobody shit. else wants you to do the dirty crabber yes, songs. Do. I don't even want you to do dirty crabber yeah. songs. You just keep sending them in every week. Yeah. I got more. We, uh, me and Tony were both a uh, uh, part of one of the coolest things that uh, I've done in a long time. Mike Farron had a really cool uh, where, uh, event where he got comics to fight each other in the ring, boxing. Actual and, boxing. Actual boxing. And that was one of the greatest times. And I, I guess you're, you're cutting it up. You might be uh, selling it as a show. I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, I, I want more. Like, you don't oh, understand. That, that was like... UFC for comedians. It was yeah. fucking badass. It was so much fun. Yeah, Patriot, if you were going to fight somebody in the ring, who would it be? If you were going to box somebody, who do you think would be in your weight class? Uh, maybe the Iron Sheik. <laughs> really? That's who you pick? Uh, it doesn't really matter. I pick any of them. I, I pick anybody and, and it's all over when I get to work. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Would, would you wrestle in that uniform? Or I want to. You know who I really want to fight is Joe Rogan. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's cute. You know why I don't trust him? Because he's never done cocaine. I want to kick his ass. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> he's actually done coca leaves before, which no. is where the cocaine comes from. It was like a tea, and he said he couldn't stop talking. And if you know Joe, he loves to talk. So imagine that times a thousand. That must be insane. So that's probably why he doesn't want to do it, because it would probably blow up his face. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be fun to have a conversation with him, though, high on cocaine. Oh. Okay. Wait, you'd, you'd have fun if he was high on cocaine? Yeah, because he said he'd never done it, but I, I know he likes to talk a lot. And have I, you I done really, it? What? You've done it? Yeah, I've done it probably about ten That's times. Nice. I never did it. You know, I never got addicted, but I, I did do it about ten times. A very euphoric feeling. Um, gets the banana up and hard. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. This was back in Dallas, or have you been now, doing it since your holiday Well, I, I had one time I did it since in the last five years when I was in L.A. I was up in a rock star pad, hanging out with that girl Jennifer Corbin that I told you about that was on lingerie that used to dance for Dirty Carver. Uh-huh. And I went ahead and went for it, because I was up in a rock star pad. I, I said, i got to do what rock stars do, so I did a line, line of cocaine. And it made me uh, chain smoke a whole pack of cigarettes. Awesome. And our other guest, everybody, you know her from Chelsea Lately. You know her from Comedy Central. My writing partner on The Burn. Comedy Central's The Burn. Writer, comedian, extraordinaire. Sarah Diana, everybody, is here. She's amazing. She's she's so balls deep into show business that she's literally ten minutes late for this show. I mean, who needs credits when you just need the proof that I tried to bring her up five minutes ago? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's just, it's obviously no big deal to you. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, oh, it is a big deal to me. You were show. doing a photo shoot? Yeah, sorry. It's awesome. For an upcoming tour? Yes. Penthouse? 
Yes. That's why my nipples were hard. <laughs> Notice. You, you seem like you, we're you're outside ch- on the roof. Yeah. Ooh la la. Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry. I have to cover myself. Fuck yeah. <laughs> right now, Mike's fucking sweating bullets mm-hmm. in his crotch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he wants to be on your rooftop. There's nothing different. He always says that. <laughs> You guys are hilarious. <laughs> have you guys ever hooked up before? Because you guys have known each other for a while. Me in favor? Yeah. yeah. No. No? No. He's cooked steaks at my house before, at, like parties and stuff. He's a good cook. But he why, never why, let... why won't you let him? Why won't I let yeah. him? Yeah. Red Band, why is that always your first? Do you have any <laughs> other questions in your repertoire? No. no I don't. <laughs> this is every question. Are you fucking him? <laughs> no? Yeah. Okay, good seeing you. That's all the things. <laughs> That's- it is true. He loves the ladies, Brian. Yeah. Sarah, can I say something to you? Uh, sure. <laughs> um, it was nice. I met you first on June 18th, Kill Tony 3. I saw a nice picture of you at the James Franco roast with Tony that was very lovely. And what I wanted to say is, last on Saturday night, I was out posing for pictures for tips like I usually do. Coming home at 6.30, I saw Jason Peeble, and he said he was just at your house. He was, he was looking over your dog. Does, does he do that often? He does. He uh, house sits, and my dog is a big fan of Jason Tebow, so that's oh. why he was there. He was, yeah. He's a great guy. That's like really him. creepy that you know that. Yeah. Of you all know. the things that you normally look up about our guests, you normally don't quote their dog sitter. <laughs> he said you live over by the Hollywood Bowl. Um, yes. Oh, geez. I just moved, though, last night. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's the ticket. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, what, do you have anything to ask me about Jason Tebow, Red Man? Yeah. Tebow, fuck that dog, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, so can we find that boxing thing anywhere, or where, what should we look for? Is there a website we can keep updated? Because I want to see more of that. Is We're there... trying to sell it now, so it's kind of an exclusive video for people who are trying to um, collaborate and go to networks with it. It's such a beautiful idea. Yeah, it totally man. makes sense. I mean, I could see that. Who would you that. fight? I, I would not fight, but if I had to choose somebody, it would probably be... Jay Moore? <laughs> somebody from your, like, podcast wars? Because oh. that'd be fun. Are you guys yeah, that'd be fun. Board? I'd fight Jay huh? Moore. No. Oh. How about you, Tony? Who would you fight? Uh, you know, I'm not big on fighting. I would pick, uh... <laughs> I, just... I would pick, um... You fight with words. I think, like, uh... Brad Williams, <laughs> yeah. or yeah, Nick Novicki, thinking. or yeah. perhaps <laughs> even uh, Esther. <laughs> yeah, Little Esther would be good. So be we could tag Team Esther. Oh, Again. anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Jesus Christ, Rose. Um, <laughs> boxing, boxing tag. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't like fighting. I can't you don't like f- fighting. Either? I don't like like. It was great though. You could see like. People go all out and be on each other. See, it'd be bad if I did it because I'm actually trained in the martial arts and, uh, you know, know, I don't want to embarrass all my friends. (laughs) Thank you. Sell it fleeing. Is your move running away? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It's a new technique. I try, uh, I I go for the WWF thing. Like, I I try to get like three inches away from their face with all my punches and I expect that to affect them. They, they would be like, the announcer would be like, in this corner, weighing this many pounds, Tony Hinchcliffe. He's like, those aren't all my credits. <laughs> like, the game wouldn't even get to start it because Tony would be mad at the announcer oh, for the shit. way he brought him up. It's true. It's true. Oh, that's the only oh. thing important about me is my height and weight? <laughs> Don't you know what I've written on? <laughs> All right. You forgot to say Youngstown, Ohio. I'm so excited that uh, my guests are finally here uh, and done with their photo shoots. Uh, I'm so glad to have the Patriot here. Um, you guys know the format of the show. Over 30 comedians signed up tonight for the opportunity for one minute on this stage. That's so, um, so cool. And uh, you know how it works. At 60 seconds, you'll hear the meow of a kitty. That's to let you know your time's up. Now, don't run that time or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. And he sounds fucking furious tonight. So I'd be very careful. Don't run over your time. That bear means that you're in big trouble. Um, so, you guys ready to get this thing started or what? It's the half year centennial edition with Faberman and Tiana, Patriot, Red Band, and Hinchcliffe. And your first comedian tonight, Patriot move, Patriot, move the mic stand over so that, well, not yours, 
Josh, yeah, you want to grab that? By the way, Patriot, we call him the head of security, but he can't even move. It, <laughs> only his arms move at 90 you know, degrees. Tony, if we got on the bigger skate, stage downstairs, I could do more moving. I could do dance moves and everything. We need to be in why, that bigger room. Why do you always talk shit like I'm not doing a good job? Like, Tony, if you, if you, got, if you push the podcast, more we'd be in the main room. Yeah, yeah. Talk to, talk to Tommy Morris. Let's do a Christmas episode down in the big room. Says the guy who Tommy his Morris. big night is here, <laughs> like the Monday night. Yeah, it's ah. it's funny that you think Tommy Morris is the one that's booking the main room. <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> we should get our show in the main room. Talk to Tommy Morris. You know, you told me you want to do a show down there. Oh, how dare you talk about things that I brought up to you before? <laughs> Off camera. In confidence. <laughs> Just because I told you I wanted to maybe do a show in the... Yeah, it'd be fun when we can fill it up. Yeah. I mean, I guess we have been filling up the belly room every week for six weeks. No big deal. <laughs> After only six months. But anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I've pulled the first name. And your first comedian tonight doing a minute. When the, when we, okay. Put your hands together for Lindsay Wegler. Times as humble as thou art I'm the pious guy The little omelets Wanna be like On my knees Day and night Scoring points For the other life So don't be vain My name's Lindsay um, I nanny uh, a lot And I nanny this one girl In particular Her name's Ava She's four And she's like Totally crazy um, And like she, Her mom Like she's really curious And her mom Recently told her that her private part was called a vagina. And so since she found out that information, she like walks up to women and is like, I have a vagina and so do you. And it gets uncomfortable, but I don't like say anything because she's not wrong. And um, <laughs> anyway, uh, she's really weird about bathroom time. She won't go to the bathroom by herself and she follows me in every time, which I don't want her doing because I just don't think that's a good habit. But it's only hard when um, I have my period because she'll stay out behind the door and any time I open my tampon wrapper, every time she hears it crank on, it's like, hey, Miss Lance, you got some candy in there? Thank you. <laughs> Okie dokie. Sarah, you were uh, well, paying them. first of yeah. all. <laughs> Sarah, get in there. Uh... <laughs> There's no right time of the month for a period joke, in my opinion. Um, hey. I just, I don't like it. I don't like period jokes, but I also don't like poop jokes, so you can just say whatever you will about me. But you can just get to that joke, you can cut that joke in half. Like, you just say, I babysit this girl who just found out what a vagina is. That should be the first thing you say. You okay. don't need all the backstory about her name. We don't give a shit about her name. Okay. We oh. barely give a shit about your name. You know? We just found out who you are. You know what I mean? Right. We just found out about you. Ugh. Now we got to memorize two names. That's a lot. You could yeah. come out. You can uh, yeah, yeah, hide behind the up. Iron Patriot. You could bring the microphone. It comes. It's uh, yeah. yeah, bring the whole mic stand. Yeah, you it's, could do a, that it's, a, it's a mobile microphone. It's, uh, it's not that heavy either. Uh. Don't be afraid of it. <laughs> could you imagine what she'd be like? How, if often, how long have you been doing stand-up? Um, maybe like... Six months, but I'm really spotty about it. I do a lot of improv. Spotty Another joke about period. a period. Hello. Spotty. <laughs> no, we can tell from your pants. Joke. Very spotty. <laughs> She's wearing red pants, guys. <laughs> they were white earlier. Well, it's not like a vulgar period joke. No, it's not. Uh, older. But I understand. Don't, don't understand why she would think there's candy up there. Right. Because she hears the wrapper open. Oh, I Maybe see. Maybe I was real fast. Yeah. That's not clear that the wrapper is why you would have candy up there. Immediately, I'm thinking, does she see the string? Because you just talked about her no. looking at vaginas. No, she just hears it open, opening through the door, so she thinks I'm eating candy in the bathroom. Okay. Well, that's... You don't have to say period. You can just say anytime I'm opening up a tampon wrapper. Oh, okay. Or unwrap, unwrapping something. But you also, like, if you're talking about how she's staring at vaginas all the time, and then you go into a period joke, they seem like two separate things. Yeah. It was really confusing. I was super confused. I, I didn't follow any of that. I very no true. It's very hard. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't even hear what she said. I was staring at her pussy the whole time. <laughs> was she telling a joke? Uh, 
<laughs> I didn't hear one. I didn't hear a joke. I'm sorry. By the way. Did you hear one? That yes. is Mike Faverman oh. is here, everybody. I love it. Listen, hold on, hold on. The Faverman perspective. You have to you have to cut to the chase. You're not interesting enough yeah. to, to listen to you to get to that lack of a joke. No, that's the facts. True. Cut to the chase. True. Trim the fat, Trim the get fat. to the joke. Nobody cares. It's true. Also, the don't fact. use the word pussy ever. Like I don't. Do and, I unless don't. you look like me. <laughs> yeah, unless and then you use look it all like the a guy who only one. uses the word pussy. Yeah, wound or slit is better, probably. <laughs> Gash. Don't listen to these guys, please. Gash is a great word. Gash, yeah. 80s pussy. Yeah. <sighs> you can always say pouch, oh. too. Oh, there you go. Awesome. Did he say crotch? <laughs> he, say, he calls it a pouch. Patriot calls the vagina a pouch. That's like a six-year-old. Why? I know, he is. He's also let a dog eat chocolate off of his penis. Hey, who hasn't? <laughs> the worst thing you can let a dog eat off your penis, chocolate. I told you my is Because it doesn't take too long? His peanut butter better takes longer? Yeah, he can like really what you said, that, the worst thing it. that you Because can... chocolate's oh, poisonous it's for bad dogs. bad for dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, that's what he used. <laughs> Meanwhile, the guy eats a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day, so you know he's got peanut butter. <laughs> I love that I'm the dog owner and I can remember the You should dog. really look that up, by the way. There's Reasons so many did. things you have no idea that's poisonous to dogs, like grapes. Would you ever think that grapes are poisonous? No, I know grapes are poisonous. Yeah. What, the other day, shell? my dog threw up two ketchup packets in a receipt. <laughs> oh. No, he shit them out, actually. He shit them out. He oh. didn't even throw them up. He threw up some three things I had no idea what they were. Lindsay, I know it was a minute, and I know you've only been doing it for six months, but it really shows that uh, you're doing a lot more improv than you are stand-up because okay. you, there was only really one punchline in the whole 60 seconds, and it was sort it was? of a punchline. So, and, like, how many punchlines should you average per 60 seconds? More than one. As one many as possible. Yeah. Yeah. All right. A lot. Just think possible. outside the box. Like, when you think of what the easy joke is... Go. Hey. <laughs> right. <laughs> we just can't. There's a lot of. Uh, no, 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 no. Write it down. Yeah. Write it down and then trim it down to about a third of what you have. Yeah. And yeah. then maybe it'll be fun. And then think is this the maybe. smartest way to end that joke? What would be. It's, could anybody end that joke this way? And what's a better way of ending that joke? How can I one up? So basically, don't do the joke. No. There's nothing no, wrong with the that's joke. That's not what we're saying. No. We're saying quit stand up. That's okay. not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, we're Shut kidding. Up, we're pussy. kidding. Yeah, whoever made that noise, don't do that again That's for the rest never a of the solution. night. We're Jesus. just starting the show. No. You can we don't owe it, kill Tony. <laughs> just watch it happen. There you no, go. No, we're not saying quit. We're saying um, watch other people who do it well and learn from what you hear is the right way to yeah, do it. Yeah, but you can always save a joke. You can always punch it up and change it and make it different. Don't just definitely it's it's cut out the period part. Right. All the information that doesn't have to do with the punch if, line. if you're going to stick with the candy thing, which I still don't really get. Like, I don't know. If you if you normally give her candy and you bring it out of a wrapper on the front end of that, then maybe that would make sense. Like It sounds like the whole joke's just a tag for another joke. Yeah. It's true. Or the, joke, the joke is just the last part about the wrapper. All the other stuff means nothing. That that one thing is a joke. So take that joke and put it in another joke or or, or something. Come back next time. Do a different minute. Lindsay Waggler. Good job, everybody. Lindsay. She's on Twitter, at nice Lindsay job. underscore Waggler. So if any of you listeners out there want to give her a... Punch that up or something. I'd love um, to punch that up. <laughs> punch that pussy, what? right? Hey, hey, buddy. Did you guys have any jokes that you feel like uh, when you started out that you feel like now, like you would never even go near that didn't make don't, did, that doesn't make any sense? All of them. Do you yeah. want me to do Favorman's or? Yeah. <laughs> no, I no, you have one I don't for him that you remember? No, no, he's he was always funny. I don't know, I. I mean, like, when you first started, like, your first six months, and you're doing stand-up, was there ever a joke in which you're like, oh, my God, I can't believe I did that on stage? I used to do a joke about how uh, you could uh, you could put, you know, get money for sperm now, mm -hmm. and then I said, I have this towel at home. Be worth a fortune. But it's kind of now, it's, uh, we wrote that, like, 20 years ago, and now it's kind of hacky. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, 15 now. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. 15 years. Long, wonderful years of misery. <laughs> Fucking pain in my ass. You do you enjoy it? it? Yeah, I love it, but I hate having to do it, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, I love doing it. I feel like I'm, you know, good at it, and I just don't love chasing this, the, the, you know, to get work. 
It's bullshit. It's like, I mean, I'm funny. Let's bring on the fucking work. What's the problem? Right. They want asses in the seats, and uh, it's all business. That's all. That has nothing to do with how funny you are. But you get a lot of respect here, which is which is sort yeah, of that what... goes a long way. <laughs> <laughs> 15 bucks in the OR. Sarah, do you have a joke that you can't believe that you ever did on stage from your first few months or whatever? Um, no, I mean, I can't really remember because they didn't last very long if they weren't working. Right. I mean, I would try them th like three to five times was the limit. If they weren't working yeah. after three to five times, they're out. Or, you know, but I'll look back. I mean, I used to say some pretty... <laughs> Like crazy stuff, like guns don't kill people, black people kill people, <laughs> it's which true. is a fact. It's true, but it's not a joke. It's funny. <laughs> it's only funny because it's a fact. I used right. to have this one stupid thing in the first couple months that I'd say I'd go. Uh, uh, I was born with two ball sacks, but I had to have one removed because when the two ball sacks rubbed together, it was there was something about it that was just really gay. <laughs> That's all I said. That was the whole joke. <laughs> and then I would change direct. Anyway, yeah, supermarkets yeah. are crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hey. Because I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, and I now I'm a fucking genius. I Who would have thought? Of, Who tons thought? of shitty jokes. I just yeah. don't remember them. It's so, hard enough to remember. Yeah, the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> Try to push those ones back. Mm, better make a list tonight. <laughs> I better make a set list. Oh, I know this name. He's uh, This is a uh, fun African fellow. It's Tim Greer, everybody. Tim Greer! Hello, say I'm home. Wow. that smile. Hey, what's going on? How y'all doing? Uh, so look, I'm tired of people making excuses for not having fathers. I, I feel like, fuck you, I mean, you should have had one. Realistically, there's fathers everywhere. Like, seriously. If you turn on your television, there's great fathers. When I leave my children, one day, like every black man should, I'm going to leave my children the box set of The Cosby Show. It was nine seasons of a great father. He was there. He took care of him. And that's how you know, by looking at Theo, how to be a good son. That's my job. Okay. Bailing early? All right. Uh, yeah, call him Bill Cosby. Am I right, people? Anyway. Uh, Split the bill. <laughs> Split the Bill Cosby. Some people are like, uh, hey, do you think the comedians should ever do like three minutes or something like that? It's like, dude, some people do fucking 14 seconds and then. What's your name? Tim, Tim right? Yeah. Don't ever ask the audience how they're doing. You tell them how they're doing. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. you tell them either they it shows suck. Weakness right away. No. Don't do that. Okay. You don't have to. You'd be like, hey, I'm. You know, this is who I am. Right. Do you ever feel like you know, yes. like right away, cut to the chase? Okay. And I don't think a black comic should do that. Black people don't have fathers. That stuff. It's it's. Talk about yourself. Do you have a father? Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you yeah. talk to him? Do you wish he would leave? <laughs> <laughs> what trust fund? Yes. No. Did you see how that was funny? Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I'm not putting you down. I'm saying oh, be great. a little more exactly. original. Be more original. Okay. I don't. I don't like it. But you. So, so you've always had a father. So yeah. Do you do you ever talk about how you how you break that stereotype? How you weren't part of that? No. You don't have any jokes about that. No. You but, father and you you get along? No. No. Why? Hell no. Are we the same? Because you're the same? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> same age? <laughs> <laughs> He's not Mexican, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> He's your father, brother. <laughs> your father. <laughs> father, bro. Um, yeah, wait, so you guys are the same? What do you mean you're the same? We're like the same personality. Like strong-minded. Strong-minded? Yes. Okay. So you don't... Does, <laughs> where does he live? In Texas. In Texas, that's where you're from. Do you have a southern black father? No, he's from Chicago. Okay, but he lives in Texas. Yes. And did you grow up in Texas? Yes. And do you ever talk about that? Yes. What do you say? I'm from Texas. <laughs> that's, that's, right? that's hilarious. Wow. Tim, you got the you whole setup the and the punch in most three words. Interesting man in the world. <laughs> you should talk about how you and your dad are the same person. That's why you hate him. Yeah. Anything, whenever you're talking about well, something that's real Well, because he'll watch my comedy, so I don't want to let him know that I actually hate him. Why not, dude? How often is he watching your comedy? <laughs> Anything I put on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Well, don't so put it on YouTube. You shouldn't be putting that on yeah. YouTube. <laughs> Whatever you You shouldn't say. have anything on YouTube. No, I'm kidding. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm serious. I hate putting my stand up on YouTube. He's saying road star yeah. hip hop. Well, I just <laughs> feel like. No, what we're saying is talk about your. Talk when about what's real. It's yeah, okay. when you're. When you talk about you, no one can steal jokes from you. Right. right. You know? Because no one can be anybody else. Like, no one can take anything that's already yours and really personal. Right. And it takes a while. Like, how long have you been doing comedy? Three and a half years. Three and a half years? Yeah. You should be past that right now. You should already be talking about yourself. Yeah. Okay. And definitely don't say how you're doing and hold the mic a little closer. And it's not okay. going to be easy, but that's what makes it good. You know what I'm saying? It's not right. going to be yeah, easy to sucks. talk about yourself. But if you make it funny for everyone else, that means it's really funny. Vulnerability makes everything funny. Yeah. True. And it gives Watch you perspective. Okay. Yeah. Tim Greer, everybody. Tim there Greer! You go. Good job, Tim! <laughs> What's that? Faberman needs another beer. Can somebody another beer? Get it? Another beer for Faberman, please. please. Bud Light. Is that what it is? <laughs> Your next comedian yeah, goes by the name of Bo Scott. Bo oh! Scott. Come on, Bo. Hey guys, you ever get so high you turned your blinker on going around a curve? I got so stoned yesterday I went to Ralph's and I was looking at the eggs trying to figure out which one I wanted for like 30 minutes. <laughs> they have A eggs and they have double A eggs. I was like, come on man, one of these is B eggs. It was right next to the almond milk. I was like, how the fuck do you milk almond? I was all stoned, so I was like, the Almond Brothers know. <laughs> <laughs> they do, I guess. <laughs> they had Christmas shit out in the grocery store, which I guess I'm okay with. Because um, I like Christmas. The only thing I don't like about Christmas is that they have ugly sweater parties and I can't go. Because all my Christmas sweaters are dope as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking have Tide is the same price as Tide with added freshness. Who the fuck is buying regular Tide? Some dude's like, I like my clothes fresh, but not too fresh. <laughs> that bear is furious tonight. Jeez. He can't wait yeah. to come out. Yeah, the bear just ate that cat. Hell yeah. Uh, Bo, that was so funny. Thank yeah, you. I love that Christmas sweater joke. Uh, <laughs> I knew you would like that because yeah, it's so it's cocky. Good. Yeah, it is. That's my, <laughs> Tony's that's like, I can't believe I didn't write that joke. Sure. Uh, but I will be doing it at 10.30 in the original <laughs> room tonight. Um, so can, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, fuck yeah. He knows how to write a joke. You yeah, yeah you know what chairs. to do. He's from San Diego. To the girl who got offended by us helping her, that's how you write a joke. Quick and to the point. But the first one, when you're like, you get so stoned, you turn your blinker on going around a curve. Yeah. I don't, yeah, like that not... was, like you started really slow and then until you got to the sweater part, wasn't really laughing. But like the grade A eggs and the AA eggs, I don't, I don't think to go to B from there. Do you guys think to go to B Tri from triple there? Triple A eggs. Or... I sort of like that. I'd, ra I'd rather have that in there than the uh, than the curve. I would lose the curve completely. What I was saying you is... Really, uh, yeah, what, you know why that's funny. You know what curve you were on when that <laughs> blinker was on. Like, yeah. I can sort of picture it, but people don't really, especially, you know, I, I have a thing where, because I like smoking pot, and I also obviously write a lot of material, but I find it hard to write good pot jokes you know what i mean like mm -hmm. so many of them are yeah you know, it's hard yeah it has to be really right because it's a, you know sometimes it's about forgetting or this or that so it's totally something that you yeah. do that nobody like else the does stop but... sign didn't turn green that type of shit right yeah, yeah exactly. and like milking an almond like i've heard that one right but the almond brothers is a fun that, yeah, that was good really good that i would jump into that was... quicker i wouldn't say milk an almond i would say what is that uh you know cow milk that you know was milked by the almond brothers you know like more into it so that you don't say the i, I don't know how you milk an almond because yeah. that part brings the back part down and the back part's funny because i, I like the it. almond brothers thing how long you been doing comedy i haven't been very consistent but i did my first set six years ago okay yeah i could tell it was right around five or yeah. six because you're kind of yourself on stage too yeah i also so. love the idea of you staring at the eggs but do you, and you said to pick out which one you want, just no, one No, I was egg? basically saying that in the grocery store, they have A eggs, and they also have AA eggs, 
And I'm like, one of those is bee eggs. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Why don't they just be eggs? <laughs> yes. Uh, but when you say <laughs> everybody wants yes. to be special eggs, why don't you just be eggs? Be an egg. But but you need to say grade A because when oh, you yeah. say yeah. they have grade A egg. eggs, it sounds like A A. Like it doesn't sound like the letter A. Maybe right. uh, what's, what's a grade, grade F egg? Like a testicle looking one. <laughs> right. And why? What are the I've never got a grade A A before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the, what are the A eggs like? Just like always, like I'm egg and I'm been sober for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> like what makes you grade A? Yeah. <laughs> Extra religious, carry around a book with them. Yeah, what do AA people do? I never got an A. I certainly didn't get an A. <laughs> cry, cry themselves to yeah. sleep at night. <laughs> They're all cracked. <laughs> Sorry for you sober folks out Sticking there that don't the have the chemical benefits of drinking, but it sucks oh. to be you. Anyway. I don't want the AA eggs. They're all crap. Right. <laughs> it tastes bad. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. The AA eggs have a bad crack problem. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should spend more time at the grocery store on that subject then. Yeah, also yeah. there's the yeah. 12 steps oh. in AA, 12 steps. That oh, that's true. And a you, dozen. And nobody wants to drop oh, the yeah. steps. Oh, yeah. Very good, sir. Yeah, there you go. A dozen eggs, 12 <laughs> nice. steps. A dozen steps. Like yeah. yeah. It's our joke now. It's our joke. We're <laughs> <laughs> taking it now. Yeah. We need to write, write together more There's often. There's also, there. like, cage-free, you know, like, something, <laughs> something, <laughs> something about <laughs> cage-free. You know, right. cage free. like, what are these eggs right. fed? Like, these chickens are fed better than I am. <laughs> this is really good yolk writing we're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> All these eggs <laughs> are really milky. Uh, only, they're only <laughs> egg jokes for white people. Good, Tony. That was a good one, Tony. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Patriot, you're out of control. Bo Scott, great job. Bo Scott, job great job, job, buddy. Good to see you. DJ Bo Scott. He's on Twitter at Bo underscore Scott, B O. He's opened for me a couple of times at the American Comedy Company when he used to work down there. I've so snarfed funny. puss with that guy. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Were you there for the roof otter night? Oh, yeah, he was there for <laughs> he the roof otter night. He was there for the roof otter when Tony got mad at the bouncer on the roof of the... Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's died. true. You were there for that. Yeah. And he's like, you're going to have to throw me off this roof if Those you don't want me in shit. this bar. Those but bouncers. if you do, you better hope I land on Hollywood Boulevard right. because that's where I belong. <laughs> <laughs> These fucking San Diego rooftop bouncers <laughs> fucked with the wrong people that night. They said, we said, is the bar still open? They're like, yeah, go get a drink. It looked like it was closing, though. We go, we get a drink. We literally get the drink. I'm like, oh, great, a drink. I'm sipping it. Some big douchebag. I fucking hate I know. Oh, they were like, God, there's Tony. nothing worse than He was than like, these... hey, you're going to need to finish up your drink. One of these... Like, How dare you? All right, let me get my side. You, you mean... already told your no, side you of the story. No, you went from zero Jesus to Christ. how dare you in like two seconds. Sister. Yeah, you're damn right. That's because this guy walks up that works out every day. Meanwhile, we're wearing the same size fucking shirt. <laughs> comes up you gotta you guys gotta wrap it up wrap it up guys and they're like no 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 they just told us we, we just literally they just handed us yeah I, we, I, I, that has nothing to do with what i'm doing <laughs> and i'm like what do you mean it has nothing to do with you you're we're working for the place where i just bought this on a hotel rooftop goes, nah, 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 nah. he's what he's that guy just like ah, i'm just doing my job ah, ah, ah. <laughs> which is just the fucking worst like you know what no, dude. <laughs> we're not fucking leaving right away. I just, I, I'm enjoying an evening with my friends. Meanwhile, I look around when I say that. All these pussies have already run to the fucking elevator. With our Because they're just, because <laughs> the they're just, room. you're just a bunch of animals that just <laughs> listen to every little thing told to you. Not true. You see a bouncer in a tight polo shirt. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry to be keeping you at work in San Diego on a rooftop. It's 72 degrees. Oh, my God. The best part is Life that is perfect for this fucking. Throughout the evening, we're making fun of Tony for this and the bouncer kept getting nicer and nicer every time we retold the story and Tony right. kept getting meaner. Uh, sir, we'd just like to, I know we're rushing you off the roof, we'd like to offer you a complimentary bottle of Oh, Vegas. I'm How out. How dare you? you? This is my roof. You I'm from Hollywood. Do you know who I am? I never die. said that. I would never say that. I would never say do you know who You're I am. You're gonna die. I tell them who I am right in front of them. I go, I write jokes for a fucking living. I wake up at two in the afternoon and I live my dreams you dumb goes, fuck and he goes all you do and, and, and it fucks with them all of a sudden those guys are like hey does this guy is he staying in this hotel because they're like oh, they want to fucking 
touch me, but they can't if you're a guest at the hotel. But if you're just some guy drinking at their rooftop, so they're like so excited, like, oh, please tell me this guy's not at the hotel. I'm like, here's my fucking room key, bro. And yeah, I'm going to my suite right now. I don't write sweet. checks. I get checks. Sweet two-star hotel yeah. room. <laughs> I'm going back to my sweet, sweet twin size bed <laughs> the best part was that you you said listen i'm on a hollywood rooftop so oh, i did not say that part i didn't say that part i'm cutting you off i did not say that part i listened to that part you weren't there what are you shaking your you weren't even there i want to believe <laughs> i didn't know what i told him was I what I told them was, because it was weird, because, you know, I actually write a lot of insult jokes, like, for a living, but what ended up coming out of my mouth, because I had been drinking and I was having a lot of fun, was, like, the worst insult that I've ever told anybody. I go, yeah, you fucked up. I'm a badass motherfucker, and you're just some San Diego roof guy. <laughs> and I walked away on that. And that turned into Red Band calling him a roof fodder. And I uh, immediately, when I turned and walked away, even though none of my friends were there to defend me anymore, uh, as soon as I turn away, I'm like, oh, my friends are going to find out about that part, and that's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> and instead, here I am bragging about it. <laughs> yeah, you fucked with the wrong guy, you rooftop guy roof fodder um, yeah and then the joke turned into Sorry. and we caught the, then we Bogan. caught the hotel room on fire yeah you <laughs> caught the hotel room on fire what a great night. the point is bounce is a pussy it's true man i'm really anti bouncer i fucking hate him oh who are we doing rebecca rose vinagra rebecca, rebecca. video game music from the 80s you can watch with You can leave your friends behind. Is that the dirty crabber? What? So, um, yeah, I was. I was probably funnier at eight years old in my kitchen. I, um, my mom was always like, "It's just like you're one of us," but really, I was adopted. So my family thought I was a really good actor, and uh, my brother would always have me doing these impressions in the kitchen. One of them, um, one of them, he put a cigarette in my mouth, light it, and we'd have Aunt Mammy. So Aunt Mammy from Alabama, she'd be something like this. Uh, Aunt Mammy from Alabama, I could pave the 405 with my lungs. And by the end of it, you know, I'd just be sitting in my kitchen, smoking a cigarette, and my dad would come in and hand me a beer. He's like, I don't know where we got you from. I'm like... Well, where'd you pick me up? Um, yeah, uh, so not much really has changed. I, uh, I didn't go through puberty. I uh, barely got acne or food, so it's probably the same. Okie dokie. <laughs> what Whoa. happened? Yeah. Interesting. That's just, uh, it's a lot of information. I know, that didn't, is a lot of information. There's a lot of setups in there. Didn't adopt a funny bone. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that was... Oh, uh, <laughs> oh no, she didn't. Uh, Feel the burn. Well, I, don't, I didn't understand anything yeah. that you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, me neither. That I, makes four I of heard us. cigarette, and I was like, oh, I want a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That's a really good idea. Uh, yeah. Wait, what are you talking about? Burning your tongue with a cigarette when you were a kid? Is that real? What? No, sorry. Um, okay, so my brother would make me do impressions in the kitchen. If one of them was Aunt Mammy from Alabama. Your grandma? Anyways, we That's could just let go of Aunt Mammy. Um, no, it Wait. was just a random fictional character. Oh, he's from just what? making you make fun of a mam an Alabama Mammy? Like a, I, 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 like I a just black up characters, basically. Oh, uh, so that's yeah. the, Don't do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what a Bammy Whammy was, and then I was right, like, what the fuck? You made that up. <laughs> yeah, Alabama Mammy is something you made up. I don't even know what a mammy is. I've never even heard mammy oh, before. Mammy is a black. But when you say you know, a black maid. Black but when you say my brother would make me do an impression of yeah. Alabama That's mammy, we're movie. all like, "What are you talking about?" Meanwhile, it's a okay. character that you created. Cra so you now that, have to say that not only am I craving a cigarette, now I'm craving Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> Moons over, over my, my hands. hands. So my mammy. sorry. <laughs> so I sorry. Bites, what? All right. I really don't not know. But are you really adopted? Yeah. Then talk about that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, you said, your parents think you're a great actor because they think you fit in. 
I don't understand. Like my mom, like my mom's like, it's just like you're one of us, sweetie. Yeah, I. Uh, she would say I things need to like work that. This joke out. That's, yeah, I mean, yeah. you need a little backstory. Like my parents yeah. never I'm made adopted. me feel, never made me feel like I was adopted. They'd always say like, you. It just feels like you're really one of us. Yeah. <laughs> Now go and take the out the trash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like something Spotlight. bastard. Something that's yeah. like. <laughs> Did they adopt other kids too? Uh, yeah. Uh, one more. My brother After Ray. You? One more. One yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I know. Are you surprised? Did they, they have? Did they that have <laughs> Jesus Christ! Did they have their own uh, normal kids too? They had their own nor <laughs> one more. Like normal, like ones that kids, came out yeah. of like vaginas. And yeah, stuff. my mom had three kids, and then she adopted three more. Actually, was there competition? Was, is there a reason? Yeah. Like, was that for like team sports? Like three on three? Like, why did she adopt yeah. three yeah. outsiders? Yeah. She already had. <laughs> she uh, do you guys have a big house I or something? Uh, no, no, my mom did foster care for a while. My parents yeah. are really sweet. My brother, my whole family is, like, not that sweet, but my mom is really nice, so that's, she just, uh... She adopted kids because she felt sorry for them. No, well, she, okay, her her sister died when she was really young, and, um, she... Talk about that. Uh, she, um... <laughs> oh, you should talk about why you were adopted. Okay. You know. The adopted thing is great. And then you can use that as a metaphor for everything in life, like how you don't like yeah. fit into anything. Cool. You know? So sorry. But lots of things, things can fit in me because I'm adopted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm adopted. Who That's is it? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you're fine. You just need to Patriot, slow down when you're phone? talking and okay, pace yeah. yourself. Okay. Like, I, you, you might just be nervous. This joke's probably just not that good. It's fine. But, well, you should write it out and then yeah. have somebody say it back to you. Just have somebody read it to you and then go, huh. Then now you can hear what's, how it's read. Okay, cool. Because you seem like you're just reading your jokes. You're not really performing them or like getting into okay, the, yeah, remembering the story. This one sucks. Patriot, yeah. what do you I'm got sorry. for no. Rebecca? Yeah, what? Well, you said you didn't go through puberty. What do you mean by that? I'd like to see oh, that. It was, it was just a joke. You know, I'm like a 32A, <laughs> just so you all know. Um... And I never got acne, which is nice, but it's, you know, it's 50-50. Wait, what happened? I did not, yeah. You never got ha acne? I never got acne, but I never got boobs. So, you know, half is good, half is You bad. never got, what was the boobs. 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 See, you're not, you're not speaking uh, slow. You don't need Okay, yes. Yeah, so. You're rushing through things, and they, you don't have to. Yeah. Like, that's where confidence comes from, just, like, pacing and being like, listen, cool. Guess what? Go fuck yourself. I didn't Plus, go through puberty. I don't like boobs. I didn't boobs. get acne. Guess what else I didn't get? Breasts. Uh -huh. yeah. right. these, or talent. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Favorman drops the hammer oh, again. Jesus I love it. He's, he's the Simon. <laughs> he's the Simon Cowell of Sorry, this. I'll uh, take it easy for you guys. <laughs> Simon. Hey, Simon. I'm used to that. It feels like you're part of my family. You know. Uh, I'm adopted yeah. too. <laughs> cool. Are you really? Yeah. You're adopted? Yeah. No, the highway he lives on was adopted. <laughs> I got the highway. <laughs> I kill it. Kill it. Save him in road into my kill. Very, very dirty. Very <laughs> dirty. I was adopted, yeah, into a white trash Jewish family. I would. Is that really? possible? Yeah, we ate filter fish sticks as a kid. Shut no your way. Fucking mouth. That's part of the joke. Oh. <laughs> I was. Uh, I was once in a uh, Jewish mafia. Oh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, I slept with the gefilte fishes. <laughs> oh. You All know right, why Jewish anyway. people like America? Because it's a free country. <laughs> <laughs> Stop owing. Stop being pussies. Who's the O? That O is coming from the middle of the room, and it's coming in loud. It's like a, that's like the grassy knoll shooter somewhere in there. <laughs> Um, there she goes at Rebecca Rose Good B on job, Twitter. Rebecca, Rebecca Rose. Get rid of that joke. Vinagris? What is that last name? What is it? You actually write the way that you talk because you can't really tell exactly. That looks <laughs> like an A me. and an I. What is your last name? Vinagre. That's an O after that R? That's Italian for pussy. Wow. Vinagra. <laughs> yeah. Vinagra. Folks, you should see me live sometime. Much better <laughs> live. We've had a lot of ladies up so far. That's yeah. exciting. Shitload. Heck yeah. A lot of... Uh, Thank you, Amy. That was sweet. Mentioned on Twitter. A lot of estrogen. And it's going to keep going. It's Leah oh. Nauer, everybody. I love Leah. this. All these Nauer. female comments. Sarah Tiana bringing that into the feminine. Here she comes. Whenever I go to the gym, I always see these girls that are wearing, like, tight booty shorts and, like, full hair and makeup, and it's fucking ridiculous. So, I wrote a poem about it. 
stop it. <laughs> thank you. It actually prefers snaps. It's more like a coffee shop. So, thank you. Thanks, thanks. Uh, I can't be the only idiot that thought the curse of D in Disney was a G, right? Thank you. Which spells Disney? Which is a completely different production company. Like, I'd like to think if Disney was a real thing, it'd be like slutty Disney porn with like cute pop princesses. I don't know. Uh, my favorite though is Beauty and the Beast because it teaches children not to judge others by their appearance and also that bestiality is okay. <laughs> I, I think Beauty and the Beast had like the roughest sex and most people would think that... <laughs> wow. Uh, very Jeez. aggressive kitty. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, um, I like Leah, those. you're yeah. great. Yeah, like that's funny. Jokes. You're great. Yeah. I love the poem. That's I mean, great. the poem was great, and then it kind of like went a little yeah. down for me. Hey. Yeah, for me hey. too. Um, <laughs> well, there's this potential in the Disney the, characters, the names of them. And the also, movies. there's a lot of sex. <laughs> like, just because every Disney movie has like a penis in it somewhere, mm -hmm. yeah. so the fact that you're not mentioning that, I'm like waiting for you to mention that. There's more to it, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, more to it. Leah, how long have you been doing stand up? Almost two years. Where Great. are you from? I'm from Philadelphia originally. How long have you been in LA? Uh, a little over two years. What's okay. your address? We're asking for the Patriot. We're asking for the Patriot. Oh yeah. God. <laughs> Stocks another neighborhood. <laughs> I remember seeing her before. Well, you were on this show before. You're good. Yep. Patriot remembers. How, how many girl. times a week do you get up on stage? Um, I try to do at least three mics or shows a week. Mm. You should start doing five. Yeah. yeah. Doing what? Five. Five a week. Oh, okay. At least. Okay. Because you have a lot of potential. It'll make you write more. Thank you. And, uh, but you should also, like... She needs longer sets. I like sets. how sarcastic... Yeah. Longer sets would be helpful for you. Yeah. Longer sets would be helpful, but also, um... Definitely sets longer, longer than joke. a minute. I wouldn't only <laughs> right. do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't only do minute-long sets everywhere you go. Yeah, what else do you talk about? Um, well, the last time I was on here, I talked about how I was a virgin until I was 20. Mm -hmm. I was waiting for love. So I have like a big chunk about that. Um, what happened? Well, uh, I did had they sex. not like that one? <laughs> I had sex. No, no, but did they like that one or no? Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought yeah. so. Yeah. Um, when did you finally have sex? Why? At, no, at what age? Oh, when I was 20. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm 21 now. Oh, my, oh, my God. goodness. Yeah. So you've never been crushed before. <laughs> 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 What does that mean? I'll show her. Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, yeah. Mike. I got it. Come over here for oh, a second. <laughs> no, oh, don't, don't go adorable. over there at oh, all. Yeah. <laughs> and only come here once a week. <laughs> <laughs> if there's any advice for me as another female comic that's lived at the comedy store for 10 years. Yeah. You ever thought about having a podcast before? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Red Band, we found out she has a boyfriend last time, though. So. Oh, that's right. So what? That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, didn't you and your boyfriend yeah. perform that night? Yeah. Now I remember. Yeah. Is he yeah. here? Yes. How's he doing? No, no. He's good. no he's, not. he's not. Is here. he here? No, no, he's not. Good. Don't date a comic. Are you guys yeah. having... I can give you any more advice. Go up five <laughs> times a week. Don't How, date a comic. Or not an unsuccessful one. <laughs> Certainly not an open micer. <laughs> hey, I know. Well, why'd you invite this cock blo blocker? On the <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> cock block. It always amazes me. Like I'll start dating a guy, and then he'll be like, "You know, I've really thought about doing stand up." Oh. I'm like, I won't date famous comics. I'm certainly yeah. not dating a <laughs> <laughs> right. open micer. Yeah, right. Shit <laughs> like I. Ugh. Just sit there and listen. That's to when, when, whenever somebody says something like that to me, I just get really honest with them. When they're like, "Hey, I've been thinking about, you know, you're sort of an inspiration. I've been thinking about doing stand up." I'm like, "You're not funny. <laughs> Don't do it." Yeah, you should. You have such an innocent, beautiful face. I think you're going to make it if you it's continue true. to do stand up. You're going to rock it and crush it, and yeah. we're going to work yeah. for you one day. But continue yeah. to make it. Definitely smart. fuck your way to the top. Don't go the easy way. Yeah. Don't like, listen to Sarah. Even, the, the, biggest thing. even <laughs> the Disney joke is a little, you know, outside of your element to me. Mm. Like, I like the idea of you being this, like, 
your, like your natural character being like this pure kind of person that mm -hmm. seemed like girls who try too hard at the gym and like I didn't have sex till I was 20, you know, right. like in this day and age, that is a long time. Mm -hmm. Sure uh, how, felt like it. How was your first experience? <laughs> Did it feel like a long time? The yes. sex or the, the waiting? The Wait, waiting. How was well, your both. first time? Was it good? It was great. Yeah. It was, was it good? Romantic. It was. Romantic? Yeah. Oh, that's so wow. romantic. Wow. And that's what also, yeah. Did it hurt? You should talk about oh everybody. Oh, my God. No, don't don't answer that. Don't. Leah, I'm gonna save you. It's also crazy yeah, because you're from long? Philadelphia, which seems Very like such a rough and tough city. I've been to Philly, and it's like crazy rough yeah. there. So the fact that and like remember and on the burn, all those they were like having a big problem with um, pregnancy in schools there. Yeah. Huge problem. Yep. Leah. Go up more often during the week. At least Go up five, five times a week tonight. and dump your comic book. <laughs> Leah Knauer with the Good K. Good job, Leah. Keep working hard. -E five times a week. R. Totally eat it. All right, your next comedian goes by the name of Ken Gar, everybody. Ken Gar. Hey. Oh, wow. Here he is. Totally emotionless except for her heart. I was uh, married for a while, but it was gross, so I quit. <laughs> A lot of things involved in marriage. I had a lot of rules. I had a bedtime. I don't know what that was about. I was 30 years old. And it wasn't like we talked about going to bed. She just shut the television off and it was time for bed. I could never get off the phone with my wife. I hated that. Like, uh, I'd be like, babe, I'm about to get on stage. She's like, two more things. We're going to have dinner with Steve and Tom. And I'm like, who are they? Like, I always wondered, like, how many guys died at the World Trade Center because they couldn't get off the phone with their fucking wife. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Like, babe, a plane just crashed in the building. I gotta go. Just two more things. <laughs> like, I guarantee you they found at least one cell phone in the wreckage that had a text message that said, I cannot believe you hung up on me, you asshole. <laughs> My name is Ken Gar. Thanks. Bravo. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Yeah, Where nice. are you visiting from? Uh, Chicago. I just moved here. And you, but you've been doing comedy in Chicago for a while. Yeah, a long time. Wow. You too. I think Welcome. it's great. I just think your example of what the uh, wife says to you instead of dinner with like Steve and Tom should be even. You can get another joke in there. Yeah, I was just trying it, to hit the minute. Mark. I totally yeah. get yeah. it. Is it. Do you normally say something else? Yeah, I like I I'll, I'll kind of illustrate the two Ramble. things and just and then, yeah I ran like pick up groceries and I'm like babe I got you know I gotta get going I'm on stage you know. Right. Um, yeah, I think even more specific okay. than groceries or dinner. You know, like we're having um, sushi with, you know, something okay, like specific. Because yeah. yep, yep, yep. you can get even more jokes in. Yeah, like there. she's starting another conversation. Yeah, right. I mean, she's that's telling you details that don't matter is what's annoying yeah, about the yeah, conversation. Yeah. So she, when she's getting sushi. actual points across. Uh, that's exactly what would be efficient, but okay. it's the fact that she's not getting only her points across yeah. that she's dragging this thing on. We're having sushi at the intersection of uh, Bobby Bond, Bobby Bond. With Steven Tom at six thirty instead of seven. Remember right. that. Right. But that's next Thursday. Next. Yeah, next I checked Thursday the Yelp ratings. Because yeah. the more that you blow that out of proportion of yeah. just being annoyed, it paints that picture so that that nine eleven. Pops even yeah. harder. Okay. Because then you're picturing this yeah. poor guy that's just like, oh my god, this Kill building is probably gonna fucking <laughs> right. cave in at any to, moment. Good for you Baby, to go I there. really gotta go. You know what I mean? Good yeah. for you to go there. Yeah. Oh, no, you yeah. should. It's great. Yeah, it was good. Good perspective. Yeah. I yeah like that. So yeah. Funny. Oh, I love 9/11. It's great. What's your Twitter good handle? <laughs> <laughs> is that your Twitter handle, comedian Ken Gar? Yeah. G A R R. That's it. Fuck I'm gonna yeah. follow you on Twitter. I think you're so funny. Yeah. Oh, there you go, comedian Ken Gar, coming in slaying. Beautiful. All Great right, thanks, stuff. guys. That's so refreshing, right? Seeing somebody just own, not well, even a minute, he just owned that shit. Well, you get up yeah. and you yeah. start. No, yeah. like, hey, how you guys doing? No one gives a shit. That's that's a, uh, Nobody that's cares. A, that's a classic. Uh, that's a classic, yeah. Get with it. Get started. Hey, put your hands together. I think he was on last week. It's fun to have him back. Put your hands together for Skyler, everybody. Skyler. I've been doing Skyler my wallets back in 52. Lying awake and tens and tuning in on you. Skyler. If I was young, it didn't stop you. Deep in the gullet. Ow, ow. Thank you. So, my grandmother has popcorn ceilings, and I was laying in bed staring at them, and I did the only thing a sensible person would do is eat them. And I was laying in bed, I passed out, staring at the ceiling, and uh, I tried to avoid it, so I had to put my cup blanket over me. 
So I couldn't avoid it, and also, too, I was trying to hide from the monster under my bed. So uh, oh, I forgot the joke I was going to do. <laughs> no, good, good, good. I just wrote it. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> All right, so... I was going to run off with the monster in my bed, like where the wild things are, but I decided to tell my ex-girlfriend to stop hiding under there. God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he was done, and the bear still wanted to chime in on that I, one. I think the funniest part about that whole thing was his first sentence. I was in my bed yeah. at my grandmother's Sleeping house. in my grandma's house. Yeah. And, then, uh, uh, then I lost it. She had popcorn ceilings. The funny part is that you know what popcorn ceilings are. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they are. What are they? They're the, the ceilings that have like the Shit. drippy paint looking thing. Oh, God. Unfinished. That's what they call yeah, that? That's crazy. Yeah, why do you know what popcorn <laughs> ceilings are? They do look like popcorn. They do? Yeah. They look like the bottom of the popcorn. I was getting top. really high and it looked like, like I could eat them. Carriage. Bottom of the But pot? nobody believes that you would really eat that. I why, mean, why, after why, hearing your set, maybe I believe that you would eat that. <laughs> wait, wait, Sarah, what's the bottom of a popcorn? You mean there's like... A, you know, like, like at the bottom of the bag, I'm the sorry? tiny little crumbs? Yeah. Uh, That's kind of the what the ceilings like look the like. Not the, the top, popcorn. though, which is the perfect... Popcorn is my favorite thing in the whole world. I literally carry around ranch-flavored popcorn seasoning in case I go to a movie. Oh. <laughs> I know, I don't have it on me now. The, I ran out. The white cheddar's better. No, that I is like so that. down south. Of you. <laughs> if you are I had such dill a, pickle flavor, I would bring that. Sarah is such like a little pickle. southern bell. Like we work together every day, writing on the burn. Uh, you know, like okay. twelve-hour shifts every day from breakfast to <laughs> dinner. Anyway, her she has a thing. She's such like a southern chick that she has this thing where she'll pi she pickles stuff. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, like, you can, like, pretty much pickle anything by putting it in some kind of pickle jar with vinegar or some shit, and it just turns it into a pickled whatever. <laughs> she pickles everything. She's like, Tony, I brought some pickled artichokes and, uh, pickled, uh, pickled some peppers. I got pickled pickles. Uh, I pickled a shoe. It's delicious. You know, uh, That's why I think these two should start hooking up, because they, they both... Me and Tony? You, no, not... No, you might. No. Oh, because of the cooking? Yeah. You, both see, like to like, cook? you guys look like no. a good couple. Together. No, there's only one chef in the there's, kitchen. There's something that's going on over here. I see there is, you know, in all honesty, normally I always disagree with whatever Red Band says. But uh, <laughs> on this I one, see that. On, on this one, I sort of see some magic here. Yeah, I see you're kids. Like, you're like, like, like getting super nervous. clean like she's... and pure. And, and I'm a filthy and, pig. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and yeah, well, you see, there you go. Yes. Yeah. Pickle yeah. things well, together. I can tell she likes me because she's Poor completely Skyler. turned away from <laughs> totally me. Nervous. I'm just standing here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. We Skyler, forgot you were yeah. here. Yeah. About Thundercat over there, <laughs> Skyler. Uh, what do you think of the Iron Patriot? You a fan of his? Like I've seen you at a few of these shows before. Uh, yeah, the Dirty Crabber is pretty good. The what? Dirty Crabber. His it's band. It's the name of his band. You missed Jen. it because you were too busy at the photo shoot on the roof. <laughs> uh, now, was this joke that you were doing? Were you supposed to be a, ch a kid in it, or are you supposed to be an adult in it, or? or uh... No, no. Uh, basically, it goes, I'm staring at the popcorn ceilings, I eat it, and then I get a asbestos poisoning, pass but out. That's why I ask you, because, you know, the problem I have with it, no one's going to eat it just because it looks like popcorn. How you are know, you going to get yeah. to it? It's, it's, you got to really... Believe it. on mushrooms or something? What I remember last week, the big breakthrough that we found out, not from your stand-up, but by asking you questions, is that you live with your grandma. I mean, you obviously, you uh -huh. touched on living with your grandma, but you, you ended it by talking about eating a ceiling, which we're just like, oh, okay. Okay, so this guy's well, going to make no sense for the next 55 seconds. No, no. So what you should be doing is writing out a list of things that's goofy about living with your grandma instead of just bailing out. I, I don't think you took the note properly. I when have you said those, talk about living with your grandma, we don't mean set up with that. It should be a whole thing. It has to be believable. None of us look at a popcorn ceiling and go, I think I'll eat that. No, right. no one right. ever does that. Right. Now, there's, there's jokes that have make-believe things in them, but that's kind of believable or so silly but but eating a ceiling just because it's called popcorn that just right. like makes me want to shoot myself in the dick it's true <laughs> i think a lesson we keep learning is it's not good to confuse the crowd at the beginning of the joke very good patriot i, w I, w I wish you would have learned that about 13 episodes I'll take ago note. <laughs> i'll take that note skylar there you go he's at skylar comedy i get the feeling 
not the realest Twitter handle. It's more like at Skylar Drama. But, uh... Okay, nothing on that one? <laughs> it worked out earlier on something else. Patriot, how's it going? You hanging in there? Yeah, yeah. Who do you, who, if you had to guess who Saratiana is texting right now after showing up to the show late, who would it be? Mike, how are you doing? Um, they keep on bringing it up. Should we just tell them? <laughs> no. <laughs> how fun. This guy, is, uh, this guy has been getting a lot of buzz on Twitter, one of the big upcoming uh, comics here on Kill Tony. Pleasure for me to bring him up. It's the one and only Mississippi assassin, Eric Carter, everybody, <laughs> is here. This lucky fuck gets his name drawn every so week. It seems. Come on, Eric. Beat your ass up here. <laughs> yes, it is true. I am from Mississippi. It is great to be in Hollywood tonight. It's nice to get a break from the math lab. But now we're off the subject of that. I have a few grievances here I've had the past few weeks. I'm sick and tired on Facebook of living people using dead people to get likes. Oh, shit. That did not go over like I thought. I put, I put more time into that one than I did last week. So we're going to switch subjects. I know you're confused right now. You're confused. You're like, hey, he's from Mississippi. He's talking about crystal meth, and he's got a matching belt, shoes, and jacket. And I bet y'all thinking I should be wearing camouflage. No, I'm not trying to hide from you. I find dipping repulsive and I hate NASCAR. And I didn't have a punchline either. <laughs> Let's kill the minute. Let's kill the minute. <laughs> he uh, said that on exactly a minute. Uh, Practice that at Can home? I tell Just you like something? Timing it? They're the, the highlight of my night, and I'm sure that it's going to last this way for the rest of the night. The highlight of my night, when I fall, but right before I fall asleep tonight, I'm going to go, what was my favorite part of the night? Uh, and it's going to go him just waiting for that punchline to get a laugh and just coming. waiting for him to go, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I had patience, but it wasn't coming, so yeah. I had to bail out with the whole shit, just yeah. a good little southern phrase. Oh, it seemed like it yes. really hit you hard. Like, you really thought, like, you're like, I'm just going to wait. They're going to get it. <laughs> oh, I did. shit. Nobody got they it. They bailed hard. What was hey, that dude. again? My brain just eliminates horrible jokes when I hear them. So what, how did it go again? Well, it's just about people who like who are alive. They go on Facebook and you know they'll go on dead people's Facebook profiles and say rest in peace for five years, and just do it for likes, do it for bullshit. You knew they weren't friends. And one well, thing I was going to now say, you're getting into the joke finally. What you said before was the setup, and you said oh shit when it didn't get a laugh. The part that's funny about your setup is that, like, they're always saying, rest in peace. I I've been watching. He's been dead for five years, you motherfucker, or whatever, the however you say things. You know what I mean? You've been saying that for five years. Or it's just when somebody dies, like, they, they write rest in peace, and then you some people like that. I, yeah, I think you should just I lose know, the whole thing. Just lose the whole thing because yeah. I know too many people that actually like their husband died, and so they still like you know use the Facebook to remember him by. <laughs> I don't think there's that many people that are just like collecting Facebook likes for you know. I, I don't know. There's just I think I you should dress up like a priest. I think that'd yeah. be good. <laughs> I think it'd be a good look for you. All right. No. Yeah. Um, Sorry, fellas. No, no, no. I like the character. The character's good. The jokes have to be sharper. The, you have a good yeah. character up there. So, Thank you. Yeah. The southern thing's going to work for you. I like your outfit better this week. Yeah. Oh, I kept the coat on. I took but, your advice. Yeah, but the white I shirt's think better. The funny part is when you apologize for jokes. Yeah. I don't yeah. think you should keep. I think you should just keep writing things that aren't funny and then apologizing. <laughs> I honestly do. That won't be a problem for him. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. No, no, no I'm not sensitive. All right, man. I'm taking. That's no, a, I like the like, character. That's yeah. really funny. Like that could be your thing. Apologizing for bad jokes that are kind of funny, but like that are funny but aren't well, like. Give a shot. I mean. No, no, no. That are funny but like in a like a uh, laffy taffy kind of way. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Like Brody. Almost like Jay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I mean, like Brody has his jokes that are like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what like I mean? Positive energy, Top people. five streets in Los Angeles. <laughs> right. Sad I like always that. think of that one when he does that. I think <laughs> of him. Eric, how long have you been in Hollywood now? Four months. Wow. How are you liking it? 
It's fun. Anything and he's crazy still happened? wearing those shoes with jeans, so he's only been here for <laughs> oh. He changed his look from when he first got Oh, yeah? Like, See, I rode yeah, from the beach PI's that assistant. day. <laughs> you rode from the beach? Yeah, well, I live in Orange County, so I was down in Laguna that day, and I just didn't change from my beach clothes. You came from Laguna to? Well, I live in Dana Point. Oh, man. Wow. You, you have came a lot all of that money? way for the joke? Company? No, I just have a few rich relatives. I'm like the white trash of the family. I'm Cousin Eddie. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an Adam Sandler movie. Talk about it? this. This is <laughs> what you should Eddie. be talking about. So you live with your rich relatives? Yeah, we yeah. talked about this a few yeah, times. Yeah, I mean, we talked oh, about did? it. I know they're probably tired of hearing oh, about okay, it, but since that. y'all joined us yesterday. You think the same audience is here every week? I don't know. Jeez, man. Jeez. I don't know. That's not the first time you said that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely not. In the past hour. Um, <laughs> Do you want regular or unleaded? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. Keep keep it up, buddy. You're doing a great job. It's at Call Me C on Twitter. Yes, sir. Eric Carter, everybody. Yeah, there he goes. Eric. The Mississippi assassin. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, uh, should we do one more? Um, one quick one. We one could do quick one, one super quick one. Super quick. One more super quick. Jesus, somebody really wants to get up. Put your hands together for Demetrius Smith, everybody. Here he is. Demetrius Smith. Oh, he's coming. Here he is. A little blind spider took the wheel. All right. So uh, I had to take my car to the shop, so I had to resort to the uh, city car, the LA Transport, you know. So I go to, to the bus stop, and I see this kid. He's sitting on the, on the bus stop, and we're in front of a gas station, and this crackhead comes by, and he, he asks the kid, he says, uh, you got a dollar I can borrow? The kid says, I don't have no dollar. Crackhead goes to the gas station, he comes back about two minutes later. He says, hey, little fella, uh, you got a dollar I can borrow? The kid says, I don't have no dollar. You ask me again, I'm going to slap you with my economics book. Crackhead goes to the gas station, comes right back. He said, hey, uh, <laughs> you got an economics book? Okay, say no. Nah. He said, All right, you got a dollar I can borrow? It's like an actual joke. That's a street joke. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's a street, street joke. joke. Street joke. Did you, you tell be- a street joke that you got from like a forwarded email? Uh, no, I didn't. It's original. I did that one because he said go quick in a minute. Okay. That's true. Okay, that's respectable. You write a lot of street jokes like that? Uh, I write some street I actually write jokes about about my life, so I just kind of twist them a little bit. That's fun. Yeah. Is it's that a long real? Way to go for it, that is yeah, real. it is. Street so, jokes yeah. are always an interesting thing because it's a long setup for one punchline, and depending you, you on what you take. I mean, I've just heard that half. same yeah. joke a yeah. lot, but with different props, so right. to speak. Did right. you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, grapes. definitely. Got any grapes? Got any grapes? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. You know. Yeah. You have any raisins? No. Okay, got any grapes? You know, like, it's the same joke. You can't do that. It's good, though. It was okay. fun. You know what? We needed something short to fill in 40 Why seconds. You, and have you, is that true that you really had to take the bus? Yeah. And yeah. You saw I really had to take my car to the shop. And really you really had, had to stop at the bus. Okay. Really saw a crack. And that's really what happened? Yeah, I just added a little bit to it. I just twisted around a little bit. He really did ask for a dollar three times? Yeah, he came. No, he asked for it twice. He went, uh-huh. came back. He asked for some spare change, actually. Oh, so change went back, it. Yeah, and then My came favorite back part is that he said, can he borrow it? Yeah. Like, who's going to borrow it? Is he going to give it back? Have you, heard, have you heard homeless people ask to borrow some money? That's what's funny to me because I've heard that. It's like, you're not going to give me my fucking money back. So right. Well, the money. then why don't you talk about that? Yeah, I, I would definitely do. acknowledge that if that's the part of the thing. The fact that it's definitely. the borrowing. Because, like, like if most of the time I hear, like, do you have any change? Do you have any change? Do you have any? Not, yeah. can I borrow a dollar? Like spare change. We're going to move on, though. we got to fly. Thank you, Demetrius. You Demetrius Great Smith. Job. He's at This is Demetrius on Twitter. This is the part where we get to our two regular lovely ladies that are here every Monday that we do every single Monday. Our two regular women. Uh, this Monday is no different. Uh, going first this week, um, you know her and you love her from podcasts like Kill Tony, Kill Tony, and Kill Tony. Uh, put your hands together for Sarah Weinshank, everybody. All hail the princess. Middle school fucked me up permanently. 
I'm still angry from middle school. I was such a loser, you know. I got a Chia pet at a thrift store, brought it to eighth grade, asked my teacher if it could be the class pet, and she said yes. It was a lamb Chia pet. That's what I was into. I wasn't even embarrassed. I brought it in like it was a normal thing. Like, can this be the class pet? It's fucking ridiculous. I always had a polo shirt with like stains all over it, pizza stains. My good friend's screen name was Gouda Girl. She was like obsessed with cheese. She spat when she talked. We tie our shoelaces together and scurry about during recess. That was my reality. I saved a manatee. I saved all my allowance to mail in for save a manatee. And then I was pissed because Gouda Girl and I both save the same manatee. And I was like, I thought I was going to get my own fucking manatee. Needless to say, I'm still angry. Needless to say what? Still I'm still angry. Oh, that's, uh -huh. that's funny. You have such a funny delivery. You're so yeah. different. Middle yeah, school fucked like me it. up. Yeah. And then so he's very passionate about silly things. That's what I've noticed. I just feel like style. in there somewhere you should be like, I'm glad that's all changed. Yeah, that's you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, right. I'm glad I'm better now. Right. You know, and then like if you if you said she adopted the, the same man into you, like I wanted to be an individual. Right. You know, funny. like I think like that anger of like middle school fucked me up. Like in the like every like twenty seconds you should have a beat where like I'm glad it's different now. Yeah, we yeah but I'm not like and, and when yeah. you get back to okay. Gouda girl and she does whatever I sorta of, you sorta of lost me on the yeah. manatee, but it doesn't matter okay. because whatever she does with the manatee, that's the same as what you did with the manatee. There should be a callback because that's so funny to the cheese part. Not only did she do the same thing as me, but she did it with a block of Parmesan in her hand or something like that. You know what I mean? Making okay. a callback to the fact that this chick, for some reason, is so obsessed with cheese. Yeah. And, like, so gross. Yeah. So gross. <laughs> I, I like your character. I think you should go a little more over the top. Yeah. 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 I agree with that. Yeah. You, okay. Everything you do. You, you, you have the be one of the best deliveries. Yeah. You have a character which Need is like, anger. like there's anger. certain pe comics that have characters. Like, Brody's a good example where, like, he, he plays himself, but he plays plays it so over exaggerated and you do such yeah. a good job of doing that that yeah. it's really hard to Push pull it. off yeah, yeah. Pull, put it to the yeah. next 20 percent more it. yeah. and it's a fucking firework yeah you don't even need jokes with, you with, could just talk and with right. good jokes and a character yeah. 20 yeah. Percent, you'd be good, you'd be good. Jokes. and you're gonna get better at jokes no. as you go yeah. on no, anyway. better jokes more jokes more, more right but perform. i don't want it to sound like i'm telling like cheesy jokes i'm trying to talk about if they're funny it doesn't matter it doesn't okay what you're when you're telling the truth it sounds like a joke right as long as you're still talking about the stuff that you're passionate about You'll, it'll always organically get punched up if you're doing a lot of spots during the week. And also, uh, um, up 20% on the thing. Yeah, take a risk with that character. And also, if you're both saving the same manatee, like, so that okay. seems like a real... That's, yeah, but that's it's my also manatee. like... It's my yeah, manatee. I'm still I, I have a fat cow in the ocean. You get your own fat cow in the ocean. Yeah. And then also that's just like... It's kind of like two girls wearing the same thing to this, a party. Right. Yeah, know? that's my like, man. Save your yeah. 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 Save right. it. Get your own cause. Yeah. Do twice the amount of sets that you normally do when you're on your period. Stop it. Patriot, did you have something oh, you wanted to say? Oh, I, think um, I got an impersonation I can do of Sarah. <laughs> Wait. I want to do it right now. Me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, which one? Wine shank or Tiana? Wine shank. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Went to Rite Aid to get some Q-tips and a Twix. Q-tips and a Twix. Patriots, left, stop it. Left with a flu shot. Where's our missiles? Waiting to see if I get latent autism. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes. It's Sarah Weinshank, everybody. Sarah. Bring job. in the thunder and the lightning. She's at Princess Shank on Twitter. Please follow her. It's always Please fun. Please follow her. I would totally follow Please her. Please follow her. Not to her car, Faberman. Anyway. Um, and as always, the other regular here, um, put your hands together for her. It's Kimberly Congdon. DJ Lake and today, but to always stop by if you like me too. Hey guys. I want to talk about something that I'm tired of. I'm tired of getting fooled. And ladies, you know what I'm talking about in relationships. I'm not getting tricked anymore, because it always happens. I start dating a guy, we're fucking doing cute shit, we're picking filters together on Instagram. And all of a sudden I'm like, hey, my cousin's having a wedding. And he's like, bitch, we're not dating. You know, like, 
I'm like, okay. So I've been getting really suspicious. I went for drinks with a guy the other day, and uh, we were drinking wine. I came back from the bathroom, and he had a brand new glass of wine waiting for me. I came back, and I was like, that's so polite. Thank you so much. But it's also kind of rapey. So we can't drink that. So I made him drink it and order me a new glass of wine. And I was like, what if he did roofie it? And I just drugged him. I'm going to get him back. I'm going to rape this motherfucker. I'm going to do it. I'm going to fuck him. And in the middle of me raping him, I'm going to, you know, give him the good stuff, you know? The stuff my mom taught me. And he's going to wake up and be like, Tricked ya. There you go. Good Reverse job. psychology rape joke. Kim, you're back. That was great. Yeah. Thank you. You're going to roofie me. I'll roofie yeah. you. That's what's up. I'm about roofies. <clears throat> First, yeah, you could go more into that. Yeah, I you think you have, to go, you have to set it up more about like I sh the things that you're Instagramming. Like we're picking out filters. Like you need to describe more relationship things that you're doing. And don't yeah. say the word fucking in front of it because okay. it sounds like you're saying fucking. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? I got you. Yeah. We're fucking Instagram. We're fucking Insta Like that little beep yeah, sounds yeah. like two things and yeah. not one. I wanted to get into detail about how guys like want to date girls and they do all this fucking cutesy stuff and you like feel like you're together and they're like, yeah. no, we're not dating. Yeah. I'm taking this so seriously. Yeah, but you need to really, am that's why you have to really amp up the setup. Yeah. Because then that makes him, if you ask him, and ask him for some to do something more simple than going to a wedding with you. Right. Because okay. that is definitely like a dating a thing yeah a little yeah. serious like hey do you want to go to a movie whoa she, we're not we're not together dating, yeah. okay. right you seem a little too sweet for a rape joke too yeah. you know you gotta, no she doesn't no, she hold on hold on she could she could have the same content without being so abrasive about it because you have a sweet look yeah. to you yeah, and this like this that. this word rape and all these other words coming jokes. out of your words out of your mouth it doesn't fit your character. I feel like you should okay. quit you could be forcing more clever with it. rape okay. jokes on us. <laughs> you should quit forcing rape jokes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, so. I like that. Didn't you say that last time you were on this show? Everybody does rape jokes like so sick of them. Yeah. Like it's just be more so clever like with it. you are smarter than that. Like you're smarter than that. And you're like, cute. And I thought that was a great twist cute. on a rape joke. I, th I really liked I, it I liked too. It. I really did too. So it depends on how you feel about it. You know, I sort of think that your innocent character plays into her being like, "Oh, I hope you didn't try to roofie me." And you know, and I then your you confused youth part of your character is like, "You know what? I'll show him." I think it's a fun twist. I you're definitely gonna want if you stick with it. You're gonna want to punch it it's up more. It's the on mental the back questioning end. of. I wouldn't have it who, in with that face. Who am I to think? Who am I to think somebody would roofie me? Like I'll just like doesn't he know me at all? I'll just like him. yeah, like yeah. there should be okay. more like yeah. more questions in your head. Like well, am I just an arrogant person to think that he has to roofie me? Right. Or like does he not yeah. think I'm strong? Does he not there think she I'm goes. Sexy we enough? did it again. It's Kimberly Congdon at hey, Kimberly thanks, Congdon on Twitter. That's another fun episode of Kill Tony, everybody. Mike, what do you have that you want to promote that's happening? You got the, uh, the show coming the, out? Yeah, uh, the punchline, yep. uh, the, the boxing show, and mm -hmm. uh, I got three other shows going to networks in January. And nice. Hopefully, sell some. But Ultimate Outdoor Cooking. If you guys like outdoor cooking, go to ultimateoutdoorcooking.com. That's right. And Sertiana, what's happening? Nothing. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I'm at the Crest <laughs> Theater with Joe Rogan, December uh, oh, 13th. Oh, stand up Is it the 13th? Yeah, right. And uh, Youngstown, Ohio, December 20th and 21st. I'm going to be at the Funny Farm Comedy Club. I haven't oh, been back in home Atlanta. in five years, and I'm going to oh, be oh, there to one. say hello to my I'll family. I'll be on Chelsea next week. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, December 11th uh, in San Jose, California, we are having a Death Squad holiday dirty show at the San Jose Improv with Brody Stevens, Sam Tripoli. Tony's probably going to be there. We're just going to have a huge show, so make it up to San Jose, December 11th, San Jose Improv. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Thank Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.